Have you ever found yourself wishing for a field harvester that would be good for all kinds of workloads or types of operation? A harvester with really big capacity for filling the silo fast, but one that would also be easy and economical to use, even for chopping small feed requirements on a day-to-day -day basis? Have you ever wished you could use a big capacity harvester with your small tractor? And have you ever dreamed of owning a harvester that pays for itself with less operating cost and less maintenance, but still has all the finest performance and convenience features? Do you wish you could find such a harvester priced in the lowest range in the field? Well, now you can stop dreaming and get right down to brass tacks. Because all these wishes of yours are the brass tack facts about the McCormick number 15 field harvester. First, the number 15 has really big capacity. In fact, 60% more than other field harvesters in the same price range. One reason for this big capacity is the positive pull-in action of the basic unit's new feed aprons. They pull the crop at high speed right from the harvesting unit into the cutter head with no expansion of the crop to shrink capacity. The upper apron is free to float and adjust itself to the volume of material passing through. The big 88 square inch throat opening takes the heaviest crops in stride and feeds them to the high speed cutter head that gives up to 6,000 cuts per minute, 80% more chopping action. The big capacity of the basic unit is matched by each of the three new harvesting units. Through power drive, they gather and force feed as much crop as the high speed cutter will chop, a point where many other machines fall short. The popular cutter bar unit, for example, is capacity matched to the basic unit by such features as a full five foot cutter bar that is entirely power driven and by the aggressive pull-in feeding of a full floating auger with retracting fingers. The row crop unit has the big corn silage capacity of 40 tons per hour. The wide low gatherers save down and leaning stalks and the gathering chains reach low, bringing stalks quickly to the big sickle for close cutting. But chains traveling faster than the upper gathering chains power feed the stalks to the aprons butt end first for clean uniform chopping. The windrow or hay pickup unit has a wide 54 inch pickup with power driven continuous pull in feeding. With it the heaviest windrows are quickly compressed and fed directly to the aprons. Yes in every way the number 15 harvester has big capacity. But it also has brass tack features that are so convenient, time-saving, and economical, it's the ideal harvester for all kinds of jobs, both big and small. In spite of its big capacity, the number 15 has the lowest power requirement of any harvester on the market. With its light weight, a minimum of moving parts, and pre-lubricated self-aligning bearings, it can be operated easily with a 2-3 plow tractor. The skillfully designed simplicity of the number 15 also means less time required for lubrication. There are only eight grease fittings on the basic unit and only two to five on the harvesting units. You can precision sharpen the blades of the high speed cutter head in mere minutes, right on the chopper. The blades are easily precision adjusted and bolts outside the housing permit fast, easy adjustment of the shear bar to the knife spacing. For quick, easy hitching of the number 15 for transport, a combination screw type jack and stand holds the adjustable hitch at draw bar level. In the field, this handy stand swings up and latches securely. The hitch easily adjusts to center the number 15 behind the tractor for safe transport or for adapting it to various row widths or special crop conditions in the field. All harvesting units lift high for easy passage over borders and ridges and to avoid picking up trash on field ends. The new hydraulic control, 
or the optional manual control raises or lowers the harvesting units, which are free to float above the selected working height and follow the ground contour. You can control the number 15's delivery spout conveniently from the tractor seat. It swivels to counteract high winds that waste forage, adjusts for either rear or side delivery, and the rope control deflector permits loading the wagon evenly from front to rear. A fully enclosed transmission, also conveniently operated from the tractor seat, stops and reverses the feed aprons, as well as the augers on the harvester units to kick out slugs. Getting down to more brass tacks, the number 15 field harvester has the finest quality construction to give you more years of dependable, trouble-free performance. For example, the rigid welded steel frames of the basic unit as well as the harvesting units, hold the precision working parts in perfect alignment, even in the roughest going. The entire machine is further protected by a friction slip clutch on the power takeoff shaft and by an overrunning clutch that allows the high speed cutter head to spend its momentum in spinning when power slacks off. For extra light running and a long trouble free life, both the oil bath right angle gearbox and the transmission have precision cut gears and all tapered roller bearings. And for the most simplified trouble free operation, only two drive chains are used on the basic unit. One for the transmission and harvesting unit, the other for driving the feed aprons. Only roller chain is used eliminating the troubles of commonly used stamp steel chain. These then are some of the important brass tack features of the number 15 field harvester. Big capacity, convenient time-saving economical operation, and the highest quality construction. Yet with all this, ingenious designing has made it possible to offer it in the lowest price range in the field. So if you want to satisfy all your wishes for a harvester that chops with the biggest but is priced with the lowest, now is the time to get right down to brass tacks with the McCormick number 15.